For the remainder of the lab, we'll be looking at all of our ungulates, and the first order within the ungulates are, is our order Parasodactyla. They are mesoxonic. Uh, they have cheek teeth that are hypsodont and usually lophodont. They are large terrestrial herbivores, and they are our odd toed ungulates. Uh, they have a simple stomach, and they can't digest plant matter as easily as the Arteodactyla. So the first family that we have here is our family Equidae. This includes horses, um, asses, and zebras. Um, they're found in Ethiopian and Palearctic faunal regions, but they originated in North America, disappearing with the last ice age and then reintroduced by Europeans. They're herd animals that live in extended family groups. They're highly cursorial comp uh, and have complex communication through their tail position, behavior, and vocalizations. Only their third digit remains functional, so that's that hoof that we all know. Uh, it's thought that the zebra's stripes make it hard for predators to see a single one out of the herd. Um, and you do have to memorize an Alberta species that we have, obviously the horse, uh, the domestic horse, uh, which is Equus caballus. And this is a horse skull in front of me here. This is the family Rhinoceratidae. Uh, they're found in the Ethiopian and Oriental faunal regions. The African species uh, prefers savannas and open forests, while the Asian species prefers denser forests. They are browsers with a prehensile upper lip that they use to gather vegetation. They have one to two horns of dermal origin. So that basically means that they're com uh, made up of compressed keratin fibers and do not have a bony core. They are sparsely haired with very thick skin and they're generally solitary and they're la rapidly declining due to poaching for their horn and other body parts. We don't have um, any skulls in the lab, but we do have um, a rhino horn specimen, which is really cool. And then this is just a picture to show you their teeth and the skull. Lastly, within the order Parasodactyla, we have our family Tapiridae. These include tapers. They're found in neotropical faunal regions in Malaysia and Sumatra. They're shy and uh, often solitary, and they live in rainforests. They're nocturnal. They feed on grasses and forbs. They have a flexible proboscis, so kind of like that um, extension of their uh, nose to gather vegetation and gather olfactory information. They're about the size of a donkey. Uh, they have three toes with hooves. They're very good swimmers um, and will eat a lot of aquatic vegetation actually. And they're all endangered as well. They do have brachiodont uh, dentition. So we don't have a specimen for this guy either. Just a picture um, of their skull so that you can see their teeth. These are the upper molars. They do have canines, and that's where their nasals begin. That's their nasal bone.